Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium WebDriver videos. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to mouse over on a web element using WebDriver. We generally know how to perform a normal operations like how to click on a web element, how to set some text into a text field, right? But uh, how can we perform an advanced operation such as mouse overing on a web element or right clicking on an element or drag and drop one element from one location to a different locations right so all this can be done using action class right so in this video i would like to demonstrate about one such operation like how to mouse over on an element all right so oh, one such example is as you can see i have a flip cart open in my desktop right now once I mouse over on any of these categories, the corresponding web elements got displayed. As you can see, once I mouse over on electronics, the corresponding web elements got displayed. As you can mouse over on a different category, the corresponding web elements in that category will be displayed. Right. So one these web elements are visible only after mouse overing on electronics. Right. If you don't mouse over outside of this and you cannot see any of these elements once you just mouse over on it you can able to display like you can able to see all these web elements and once these elements are displayable you can able to perform whatever the operation that you want if these elements are not displayable then selenium will throw an error saying this whatever the element that you want to perform an operation that is not visible or displayable all right so in this uh, code snippet i'm just uh, demonstrating about how to mouse over on electronics web element once this is available how to click on next access all right so first i am creating firefox driver instance and after that i am navigating to flipkart site i'm maximizing the browser and i am putting some implicit weight all right I am identifying the electronics web element using XPath and I am assigning the corresponding web element to this ELE variable. After that, I am creating an actions class instance and the instance name is builder, right? For which we need to supply the driver. Whatever the driver variable that you are creating, you need to supply as an input parameter for the action class, right? So once you have this instance, what you have to do is you have to use move to element method and the corresponding whatever the web element wherever you want to mouse over, you need to specify that element, right? So for the corresponding method is you have to use move to element, all right? After that, you need to use build dot perform or else you can omit this build and you can just uh, use perform method some people use build dot perform uh, some people only use perform internally in perform build method will be called whatever best uh, you feel comfortable you can use either of these two statements right so once you just mouse over on this electronics i just want to keep some weight for two seconds because it may take some time to load all those web elements once those are displayable i am finding the next access element by using its x path all right once my nexus element is displayable i am just using nexus dot click which is an odd ordinary way of uh, clicking a web element the other way with this action class instance is i am just using this instance dot move to dot element uh, of nexus so i am just mouse overing again on this nexus element and after that i'm just i'm using the click method and using build dot perform to make sure that it moves over on next six and after that it clicks on that element whereas in this statement uh here just you can use whatever the way that you want but in this statement i'm just using this action class instant dot click method where the input parameter for is nexus because i want to click on nexus directly and after that you can use build dot perform or you can directly use the perform method if you if you just use uh, action class instant and method which doesn't perform a, uh, any operation you need to use build dot perform or perform method 
all right so in this way uh, one of the biggest advantage of uh, like you know using this uh, actions plus instances you can include like more than one action and combine in all those actions into one composite actions and can perform that's what i am demonstrated here i just uh, used move to element and click method the other other uh, operations could be like if you want to use control plus uh, some other functional keys or alt plus control plus some functional keys or alt plus uh, control or shift plus some other keys then during that time you can use this action builder class so uh, let me execute this uh, test case and sh show you how exactly it is getting displayed So Firefox start instead uh, navigates to the Flipkart site, which then maximizes this browser and mouse over on electronics element. And after that, it clicks on the Nexus six elements. So that's uh, what we wanted, right? So that's all in this video. Uh, to summarize it, you uh, when you want to mouse over any on any web element, what you have to do is you have to create action class instance after that you need to use move to element after that you, you should use perform method if you if you omit this perform then which will not perform any operations but if you use perform method what it will do is which will commits whatever the operation that you perform here all right uh, that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about with you thank you